Um, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl April Newly Me here with another what my meals were for the week. I'm sorry it's been a minute, y'all, but life has been lifing. But we are going to start with baked salmon, which is one of my favorites, zucchini and rice. So I am a zucchini girl. I love my favorite way to eat zucchini is grilled. I love it roasted. I love it sauteed. I love it breaded and fried, y'all. Any way you can cook zucchini, I'm gonna eat it. Uh, this way I just wanted to go ahead and like get some chunky pieces and saute them with some onions Y'all know I put onions in everything and FYI this is the last video y'all will see me cutting on paper plates This is when I first moved into the apartment well not first first but it's still new y'all But I have made some upgrades and some purchases and we will be using cutting boards just to let y'all know but anyway, I like chunky pieces of onion. If you are not like that, definitely go ahead and cut those down to size. But I wanted them around the same size as my zucchini. And this is me just seasoning to the gods, girl. I have to season everything. I do. I am a fan of marinating my meat. But in this, it was a pinch. I was hungry. I was going to eat. But definitely rub in, even if it's a dry rub, rub in, rub in your seasonings. Like it makes a world of difference. So I just had a little bit of olive oil, went ahead and put my onions down first, get them a little soft, then I went ahead and hit it with the zucchini. I don't like my zucchini mushy, that's why I wanted to have, you know, the onions in there first, and here I am seasoning, seasoning, seasoning. I cannot stress that enough, I don't know how people just do salt and pepper, I'll pray for y'all, it's weird, it's wrong, you shouldn't be doing it, but anyway, we're just gonna pray for folks like that. Go ahead and saute, you know, in some butter if you don't have oil. I prefer oil. I don't really like extra virgin olive oil, but that's what I had on hand. And yeah, again, I don't like mine mushy or soft. Just, you know, a little al dente. And here is the result. I went to town. Yes, I am a rice eater. My folks are from Louisiana. I eat rice whenever in that. But it was bomb, y'all. It was, it was definitely bomb. Do it, you do it, we do it up we are going to be having beef fajitas now this is the struggle meal that i can get with okay bell peppers have to have the three colors you have to don't just do the red and the green get with it get some color in your system also some jalapenos this is all the seasoning that i had on hand y'all literally when i you know it was brand new in this apartment get you some cut up beef you can use chuck they have you know um roast every kind of meat they can you know even if you go to the grocery store if you go to Kroger's, the butchers will do that because I ask, okay? Then go ahead and dice up your veggies. Again, I like all color bell peppers, but I don't just like doing the red and the green. That's kind of boring. So I like having the orange and yellow gives a little bit of a sweetness. Again, with the onions, everything I cook got onions, y'all. Put a little bit of oil in the pan. I'm so glad I have upgraded. I have extra virgin olive oil. Uh, avocado which is my favorite peanut oil get you a variety of oils y'all anyway like I said season 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 I wanted to get a nice brown color on my meat so I cooked it on low season stir season stir that's how I do then I wanted it to cook with the onions because to me out of all the veggies the onions have the most flavor so I definitely wanted to cook that along with the meat so the meat can kind of absorb some of that flavor um, go ahead and give it a little stir let it chill out then I went ahead and hit it with the jalapenos again you know the vegetables with the most flavor that you want to get on your protein definitely cook those first so they can you know absorb all that flavor so that's my onions and my jalapenos After that I hit the bell pepper don't they look so pretty y'all just look at that look at the colors and then I hit it with the parsley with the green so pretty but anyway I left those on the top for a little bit because I didn't want them to get again I don't like mushiness I still wanted them to hold their form hit it with a bunch okay a bunch a daggone garlic and you know just let it chill out don't stir too much again I didn't want my veggies to be mushy so I try to keep them on top of the meat I like my meat cooked well done. That's just how I like it. If you don't, you know, more power to you. I like no pink in my meat, okay? So anyway, went ahead and let those sear for a little bit. And then we have it over rice. This is such a hearty meal. It keeps for a long time and it does not break the bank, honey. And that's what's most important right now. 
Then last but not least, I have my Cajun chicken pasta. I cook this probably once a month, y'all. Like here's all, again, this is everything I had on, on hand. This is so minimal to me as far as seasoning because y'all know I love to season stuff. But again, we're starting with the onions as always. Um, for this dish, I didn't want chunky, so I was trying to get them in cute little uniformed, you know, little squares. You want to go ahead and get your skillet nice and hot. Hit it with a little bit of oil. Again, all I had was extra virgin olive oil. While that was heating up, I went ahead and seasoned my meat. This is crucial, okay? If I had it my way, I would have did some um, blackening season. I didn't have the ingredients on hand to make my own, and I didn't go, you know, buy it. But ideally, you want a blackening season, homemade or store bought, and you want to season the meat, okay? You don't want to see any pink on the meat. While that was, uh, the skillet was heating up, I went ahead and got my pasta water ready. Bring it to a nice little boil. Then you want to hit it with a little bit of oil and salt. The oil is going to make sure your pasta doesn't stick together and give it flavor along with salt. Look at my cute pajamas I got from Walmart. You're $5, okay? Don't sleep on Walmart. I just don't like going in there. Anyway, so I went ahead and dumped the pasta in there, gave it a little stir, and I left that alone, covered it back up and got to my meat. Now, I am a person that I don't like the feeling of raw meat, I just never have, so I definitely use cooking gloves. I get them off Amazon, they're not that much. And yeah, it just allows me to not be squeamish, especially when I have acrylic nails, that's just nasty, okay? It's just nasty. Anyway, like I said, you wanna blacken your meat. Look at my stove, y'all, I need one of those splatter things. But anyway, the meat came out, the chicken came out so juicy y'all i had an extra fillet that i put over some salad for next day for lunch at work it was bomb then you want to get you some chicken stock and whipping cream i like to use the same skillet that you made that meat in or you fried that meat in put your onions get all the little bits of seasoning that fall off the chicken and the little char that's all gonna flavor your sauce so i like to let the onion saute i hit it with a little bit of gar well a lot of bit of garlic um, let that go ahead, hit the chicken broth, let that come to a bit of a boil, turn down your heat, and then go ahead and hit with, with your whipping cream. I'm sorry, I'm tongue-tied. Let that chill out, and you do need to season this, okay? Whipping cream is a little bit on the sweet side. You don't want sweet pasta, okay? Go ahead and season it with the same seasoning you did with the chicken. While that was thickening, I went ahead and come out. Y'all, it was so juicy. Look at that. So juicy. Um, I went ahead and cut up my chicken and you know so I can make a nice little presentation and I want to show y'all how my sauce got thickened up first oh, I'm sorry hit it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese okay you like that Parmesan cheese then you just let it look how it just like kind of coats my spatula you wanted to get thick lord y'all this was such a good meal these were my meals for the week that didn't break the bank I'll see you guys next time Bye.